Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my spring project use it up. I have um, actually a few empties to show you guys and some new products that I'm already introducing because I've done so well in this project so far. So I hope you're excited to see the new things that I brought in and the progress that I made. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to just start off with the most exciting stuff first, and that is my four empties that I made throughout the last month. So I ended up finishing off both of the perfumes that I had in the project, and you guys know this one. I've had it in my projects for like the past year. This is my Mary Kay Winter Wishes, like a fruity kind of perfume, and I finally finished it up. So here was my last progress line. I really only had like a week's worth of use on this, so finished it off. I'm so happy it's gone, and I can move on to other fruity perfumes that I have in my collection, and I'm really excited to show you guys which one I'll be replacing it with. And then I also finished off my Kaeli Vanilla 28 perfume. I really didn't have that much left. I was more than halfway done with it. Um, so it didn't take a lot for me to use this one up and it's one of my favorites. So it's just so wonderful and I'm definitely going to purchase the full size for myself sometime soon. I know I definitely want to be on a no buy in April. However, the Sephora sale is happening in April. So I might just go ahead and purchase this in the full size during the Sephora sale and I need some skincare items too. So I probably will just go ahead and do that. But And then I finished off a full size foaming body scrub from Onyx Bathhouse. This is the Hot Mess Express one. It was pomegranate and honey. And I was maybe um, a third left last time I upped you guys. So definitely didn't have a lot on this one. I cleaned it out in the shower so I can recycle it, but it was really nice. I really enjoyed this scent and I'm sad to see it go because I really do like the Onyx um, formula. And another one that I'm actually really sad to see go is my Wrapped in Vanilla Body Cream. And I only bought one of these, so I'm super sad, but I was right here at the last update, so really not a lot left. Um, maybe a quarter of it left, but oh, such a wonderful scent. I'm definitely going to be purchasing backups of this, probably on Mercari sometime soon. Um, I'm kind of convincing myself if I don't buy a lot of body care in April, then I can do some Mercari purchases in May or June, so we'll see. But really was enjoying Wrapped in Vanilla. It's Soft Vanilla Velvet Sugar and Chantilly Cream, and I finished this one. Okay, let's go through my five different fragrance sets that I had kind of put together last time. So we're gonna start with the fruity ones. I'll update you on the progress, and then I will put in my new stuff. So the first new one I had to update you guys on is my Champagne Toast and Enchanted Candy Potion combo that I also had that Mary Kay perfume going in. So I will put a new perfume in, but first let's update you on Champagne Toast. So I did make a good bit of progress from here to here on the um, bottle. So I think I did pretty good on Champagne Toast. I was definitely focusing on it and I was really enjoying it. So that's this one. And then Enchanted Candy Potion, you guys, I have to cut it up, but it's almost done. Like it's all the way down here and we were up here um, at the last update. So I think I'm doing really, really well on this one. It's seriously such a yummy scent. It definitely reminds me of Pink Velvet Cupcake. Like they could be cousins. Um, so I'm really enjoying it in the springtime. Like it's just the perfect scent. It's spellbinding sugar, bewitch berries, and whipped pixie dust. So basically sugar and berries. It smells so good. So those that's these two, the update on that. And then for perfume, I will be putting in my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Little Mini. I don't have a lot, but if you listen while I shake this bottle, you can still hear the rest. Do you hear it? I'm probably like halfway done. This one is so, oh, this is literally one of my favorite scents. So I'll probably get a full size of this one too once I finish it up. But yeah, that's Sweet Like Candy. And I got this in a little gift set um, probably like five or six years ago, but they did just bring another gift set back last Christmas. So you can probably find these little mini Ari perfumes um, like on Mercari or eBay or something. So if you want to look for them, they are available again. But yeah, that's my little perfume I'm putting in. And then to update you guys on my strawberry pound cake set, I had strawberry guava coconut from Philosophy in the project last time, and we were pretty much unused. And now we are down to here. So I definitely have used it. Not that much because I've been kind of focusing on other products in the shower, but it is such a wonderful scent. I feel like this will be perfect to transition me into um, summer. It's like a strawberry milkshake scent. It smells so good. And then my strawberry pound cakes, so in the spray, I actually was using it a little bit um, near the beginning of the month. I was using it a lot, and then I kind of stopped using it and opted for Champagne Toast, but oh, just 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting so happy just smelling this. It kind of reminds me of fall, just saying. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I have progress from here to here, so just a little bit. Um, like I said, I wasn't really focusing on this one. And then strawberry pound cake in the body lotion from here to here. So really not a lot of use. Um, but I was really focusing on the Enchanted Candy Potion. So this one will probably have a lot more use next month once, once I finish off Enchanted Candy Potion. But that is Strawberry Pound Cake. Now moving on to one of my two vanilla combos. I have Whip Vanilla Chiffon and this Basic Vanilla from Pink. So Whip so whipped Vanilla Chiffon, I do have some progress. About the same as Champagne Toast, honestly. I was using this one in Champagne Toast probably the most out of all my scents. In the last month and i definitely want to finish this off so i think i'm making good progress i could focus on it a little bit more and i do want to finish this off in the spring if not then in the summer and then same thing in the shower gel i definitely was using this a lot more from here to down here i think i made really good progress on it i've been loving this in the shower gel it just smells so yummy in the shower and it's perfect for morning or night showers so this one has really been treating me well the notes are wild vanilla bean spun sugar and white peach blossom it's just like a really nice um, a little more sophisticated and like slightly floral, slightly fruity vanilla, but at the same time being really like simple, really simple scent. And then my basic vanilla, um, body lotion from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is actually a fall scent, but I've been using it now because I think it smells amazing. I don't think it could be limited to a fall scent. Honestly, this one smells so good to me. So from here to here, I made a little bit of progress on it. Um, I also brought this with me on a trip and had some of my friends use it as well. Like I left this out as like the communal body lotion because everyone knows that I'm the one with all the lotion. But yeah, I've been really loving it. Um, definitely making me like uh, Victoria's Secret body lotions. I've never tried them before. Um, maybe I have like in middle school, but I don't remember it. So I really do like it. It definitely is a lotion formula. So it's not very thick and creamy and moisturizing. Um, it's definitely a lighter formula, um, which is confusing because it's in this tube, but yeah, it's definitely a lighter formula. I'm still liking the scent though. And I definitely would consider purchasing other, um, other body lotions from Victoria's Secret Pink in the future because I'm really enjoying this one. And the other vanilla scent I had in was wrapped in vanilla. So I have the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist still in. Like I said, I used up the body cream. So I made a lot of progress on the shower gel and we went from here down to here. So definitely been using this a lot. It's it's seriously one of my favorite scents. I can't stop using it. It's so yummy. It's like super, super sugary sweet. It's so good. And then in the spray, I used a little bit of it. Um, you can see we're down to like the little sweater line right here. So I definitely used it, but not as much as the other ones. Um, but seriously, one of my favorite scents, but I think once I finish up the shower gel, I will take out the spray. So I'm definitely planning on finishing the shower gel in the month of April, and then this will probably come out of the, um, project, but I do want to put in a new perfume to replace the Kayali vanilla. And for that, I'm actually going to put in two minis. So I recently got a Sephora order and got a few mini samples of some things. So I have this, um... Carolina Herrera, not a perfume, little mini. So as you can see, it's really small. I definitely wanna try this out, see how I like it, um, because I've heard great things about it. So I'm really excited to try this out and I will plan to have this done by the end of the month. And then I am also gonna put in this one from the Mix Bar. Um, this is Coconut Palm number no. eight. I did actually try it today. It's a little coconutty, but it's actually a little bit more, I don't know, like earthy musk. So this is kind of fun going into um, summertime. I'm really curious to see how I like this and how it wears on my skin. So those are the two little mini perfumes that I'm putting in to the project and hoping to have these finished off in the next month. And then I will say I'm adding in a new scrub to replace the Onyx Bathhouse Hot Mess Express body scrub and that's gonna be the Tree Hut Vanilla Scrub. So I'm very excited to use this one. I've actually already been putting it in the shower and using it so you can tell we've got a little bit of progress on it already. And I've been liking it. I have to say the vanilla scent is a little disappointing. It's more along the lines of a like cashmere than it is a vanilla. To me, it smells like cashmere or like laundry kind of. It doesn't smell like vanilla to me. I thought this was going to smell like vanilla extract and that made me really excited or even like, um, like wrapped in vanilla. Um, but it smells like cashmere. It doesn't smell like vanilla to me. So 
I am right here on this one. I do love the tree head formula, so I'm excited to have this in with that formula. I'm excited to use that again, but I, I can't say I love this scent. It's just really blah for me. It's very underwhelming. So that's this one. Um, I know they're coming out with a birthday cake scent. I think this month is their anniversary, is their anniversary of the brand. So let me know if you've tried the birthday cake tree hut scrub because I'm really curious about that one and seeing if that one smells more like what vanilla I thought vanilla would smell like. So yeah, that's this one I'm putting in the project. And then to update you on my last body care combo, I have my coffee routine. So right here I have Midnight Amber Glow in the shower gel. I did get some progress on this one. You can see from here to here. And honestly, I feel like this is a really good morning scent to wake you up, but also a night scent to calm you down. So I've been liking it both times of the day. I'm not in any rush to use this up, but I am like enjoying it, kind of going slow. So that's this one. I have the mini spray in the collection and honestly, I don't think I used it like at all. So I don't know if I will use it at all, but I'll keep it in the project just to see because sometimes I'm in the mood for it and sometimes I'm not. So I feel like it would though be really good with um, my like vanilla routine too. So we'll see. But that's this one and I'm still right here. And then I do have the vanilla mocha cream body cream in the project as well. I honestly didn't get a lot of use out of it. So from here to here, I probably used it once on my body and then I leave it on my nightstand actually to use up um, at night and just to put a little bit on my hands before I go to bed. I'm actually gonna do that now. Um, just because I don't like to have dry hands when I go to bed. It makes me uncomfortable, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I didn't use that one that much besides just putting it on my hands at night. So this one's going kind of slow, but I wanna keep it in just because it is this like yellow fluorescent color. And it's starting to smell a little bit plasticky. So I definitely wanna try and finish this one up um, relatively soon because I don't want it to go bad. And this one's from 2021. Okay, updating you guys on my Creme Shop X Hello Kitty Caramel Pumpkin Latte Scrub. So cute. I did not use it that much last month though. I didn't take a lot of morning showers or at least as many morning showers as I used to. So that's probably why. But from here to here is how much progress we got. And I don't know, I just wasn't feeling the texture this this month. It's like a very odd, like smoothie-like texture. And it's a very um, gentle scrub. So I just need to like focus on it a little bit more. But I am gonna put in a second option for myself as far as like coffee scrubs go. So I am gonna put in Midnight Amber Glow in the Creamy Body Scrub. This one I really adored. I think I had it in my project in the fall and really, really loved it. So again, Midnight Amber Glow is Smooth Amber Caramel Latte and Vanilla Bourbon. And I am right down here on the packaging. So I definitely think I could finish this off next month um, or in April if I focused on it, which would be really great. I'd love to finish off any of my products that are kind of like this, like already pretty much halfway or more than halfway used. I would love to get them out of my collection. So that's what I'm gonna work on with Midnight Amber Glow. I feel like I'll like this one a little better than um, the Caramel Pumpkin Latte. I feel like I'm just gonna gravitate towards this one more. So that is it for the update to my Spring Project Use It Up. We'll have another update in May and then it will end um, at the end of May and then June will be our summer project. So I am four products down. My goal is 15. So I'm hoping by the next one I can reach the 10 mark. Um, so that would be really great. So I need to focus on using up a lot of stuff. Like I said, I have some gimme little small mini products and I have some products that are almost done. So I think if I just focus, I can definitely get through it. So that is everything for today's video. Let me know down below what scent are you wearing this spring? I'm curious to hear from you, but that is everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.